This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. Parallels RAS can also work with application delivery in a modern way without having to deploy a new template image. In this video, we will demonstrate how easy it is to deploy applications to RDSH, VDI, and Azure Virtual Desktop environments instantly. We have opened up three user sessions towards VDI in green, RDSH in purple, and Azure Virtual Desktop in orange. The session in black is our administrator session. Let's zoom into Azure Virtual Desktop first. Note that this is a default image only containing Microsoft 365 applications. You can confirm this by looking at the installed apps inside the control panel. If you open up disk management, you can see that no disks other than the OS disk are currently attached. Now switching to the Parallels RAS console as an administrator. Go to Azure Virtual Desktop and open up a host pool. Go to Application Packages. From here, you can add application packages based on Amazon App Attach. We select all applications, click OK, and apply the configuration. When switching back to the overview of all sessions, note that the applications are now being added to the Orange desktop instantly. Zooming into the user's desktop, you can see the applications are now ready to use. Disk management confirms all MSAX app attached disks are properly attached to the OS. To confirm the applications are working, we open up Notepad++ as the example. Note that the version the user currently has available is 844. We leave the application running and go back to the admin site to perform an update of this application while the application is still running. Again, we open up the host pool and go to Application Packages. Select the applications you want to update and select the version. In this case, we select 847. Click OK and apply the configuration. Now switching back to the user side, note that version 844 can still be used by this user. There's no interruption at all. When opening up Disk Management again, note that we have two versions of Notepad available. This means that any new user logging on will receive the latest version, and any existing session with the application open is not interrupted by this update. If the last user using the old version of Notepad++ closes the application, the disk is automatically unmounted and the application is removed. If the user now opens Notepad++ again, he now starts to use the new version, which is 847. The application was updated without having to create and deploy a new template image and without interrupting the business. Parallels RAS can also deploy the same MSAX app attached package outside of Azure Virtual Desktop to any VDI or RDSH environment. Before we do, let's switch to the VDI session in green and confirm no MSAX app attached applications are currently in there. And let's also confirm the same thing for the RDSH session in purple. No MSAX app attached applications are currently attached. Now switch back to the admin console again. Go to VDI and open up the VDI pool. Open the application packages tab. Similar to before, we could add applications here. We are, however, not going to do that. Now go back to RDSH and open the RDSH group. Open the application packages tab. And again, similar to before, we could have added applications here. We are, however, not going to do that either because for this scenario, let's use automation instead. Parallels RAS has full PowerShell and REST API capabilities, and as a result, any action can also be performed in an automated way. Now switching to Visual Studio Code. Here's the PowerShell sample code to add the MSAX app attach applications in an automated way to both RDSH and VDI desktops at the same time. Before actually running it, we go back to the overview showing the four sessions, so we can see the action live. Now click Run and all applications we configured are now being added to both the VDI as well as the RDSH desktops, instantly and without any interruption. Zooming into the VDI desktop and confirming the application disks are attached. The Start menu shows the new applications. Zooming into the RDSH desktop and confirming the applications are available and ready for use. This concludes the video on optimizing application lifecycle management using Parallels RAS. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels Tech Byte series.